We're going to quickly move down this slide on Dr. Downing. We should just do a word from our, just to say about where we're coming from. Um, the starting point was his work, but we, in, in the Deming scene, we talk about Deming Plus Plus because there's lots of other people's work that's consistent with this. And we've incorporated a lot of that other work, including systems think, taking systems thinking deeper um, to come up with what we talk about as Deming Plus Plus. But he's the man who's inspired a lot of us, and um, we hopefully we can help share this with people. Uh, to their advantage. Uh, but it's not the, the right answer, it's a starting point to question. And I think the man himself would have said uh, that uh, even if he, he was alive today at 117, he would, he would say it's all about learning, you know, knowledge. It's his, his watchword there. Now one of the things he did in his, his, uh, his, his written work was bring, to get, bring everything together into four disciplines, and so, so if you're a manager or anybody, you're a quality professional looking at the world, there are four lenses, uh, I've, used, I've taken his metaphor and stretched it a bit, there's four disciplines that come up as four disciplines, I'm not going to go into them very any, in any detail, I'm happy to talk to anybody any other time outside about this, I've changed the order slightly from the way that he used, theory of knowledge is about learning, learning from its doing, so it affects your mental models. We've all got mental models, we've all got bias about the way things work. The important thing is, do we use our experience, do we observe in order to correct and evolve our mental models so that we can predict the future ever better? Yeah. The theory, theory should be proven by practice. A lot of people use theory as a, as, a, as a pejorative, but actually theory should be, if we're using scientific method, should be a, actually a really important word for us. Um, so I'm starting with theory, there, of theory of knowledge there because of a book I'm reading at the moment. Um, comes first really, should be first in our minds to thinking about, so what are our assumptions about? what the theory is. Have we actually been explicit about them? The, other, the, the second discipline is systems thinking, appreciation for a system. Because there's a bigger, a big, what's the biggest picture you can have of India or China, of all the elements, the interactions and the consequences that go to producing the results that you see. Then there's knowledge about variation, which Dr. Nguyen is probably very is most well known for about making effective decisions from data. Are you making effective decisions from data or are you just doing go, no, go, desirable versus a, uh, I've just got a blank here. Desirable, uh, achieved, achievable, achievable, thank you. Um, what's the speed of these cars on the road? Why is it, um, I know what I was going to say earlier, was about why is traffic flow better on the M25 when it's 50 miles an hour? Hmm, interesting. It's a more optimal speed there. Perhaps not having everybody doing 70 and reacting differently to 70 makes the traffic flow better. And finally, the fourth discipline is equal psychology. And we can say putting people at the heart, whether that's leaders or whether that's people working in the system, adding value or supporting people adding value. Any thoughts about that?